Okay, so I'm going out for a night to have dinner with my fiancé at a restaurant in this big mall close to home in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We're in the car chatting and making our way there, and there's a parking structure at this mall, and to get there you have to pass by the main street entrance on a thin one-lane path. I have a bit of a habit of always being quite vigilant looking around and noticing everything that I can. I mean those who come to Rio de Janeiro or live here know that this isn't the safest city in the world. So, as I slowly drive to the main entrance's double glass automated doors, I look at everybody standing there, typically they're waiting for an Uber or a taxi to pick them up. In the corner of the square space almost touching the left wall just behind the outside door I see a woman or what looks like a female human but what made me look twice and then a third time was that she had no face. She looked like one of those store mannequins. Now you could argue that she was a mannequin except that lady was moving around like a person. That blew my mind. About five seconds after we passed by those doors my fiancé looked at me with a shocked face and she said did you see that faceless lady? I mean it's one thing to see something by yourself if you're alone and you see something strange maybe you're just like well I'm seeing things, but my fiancé saw it too. We got in and parked the car and went outside and she was gone. To this day, every time we go to the mall, we look out for that faceless woman, but we've never been able to find her again. It wasn't the creepiest thing, but definitely some really weird stuff. I tend to ramble on, so I apologize in advance, but I'll try to keep this as short and to the point as possible. This happened today around 2 p.m. So I'm on my way to pick up my kiddo from school, but I get there a little bit early and did not want to be the first person in the line to pick up their kid because I have social anxiety. I pass the school to kill some time and decide to check out this little park that I've always wanted to visit. It's a small historical park with a river and a 19th century gristmill. They've paved the walking trail and there's one bathroom. It's nothing fancy really, so I pull into the parking lot and there's only two cars there. A new white BMW sedan and an older gold Honda. I park in front of the Honda on the other side of the lot and our cars are facing the same direction. Anyways, I'm a real paranoid patty and glanced into the cars and they're both empty. So, I go about my way and check out the park. I walk along the path and there is a small waterfall and then after you get to the gristmill, a really cool building. So, I kill enough time and I head back to my car. I get about 15 feet from my car and smell an intense dead animal smell. I've had a hefty amount of paranormal experiences and instantly feel uneasy. I get into my car and look into my rear view mirror and I start reversing. In the rear view, I see the Honda and I instantly pop my heart out because in the back seat I see a faceless woman with long brown disheveled hair, faceless as in hollow and all black with no features. Her hair looked like it had mattis and wigs. I was spooked to boot and felt unwanted there. I kept my eyes on this figure as I headed out and its head turned and her gaze followed me. As I was riding out I don't think she followed me home, but I'll be doing a cleansing just in case. I'll update if anything else comes of this and this could be completely unrelated but yesterday evening after the park I had to take my sister to the grocery store because she can't drive, she's too young. I dropped her off at the house afterwards, no biggie but last night she snapped at me saying her bathroom door closed by itself and she felt uneasy all night. Something just does not feel right. Emily from North Dakota decided to share her strange encounter on YouTube with a video called Aliens Are Real Story Time. A video that apparently seems to be either deleted or removed from her YouTube channel. I'm seriously about to share one of the scariest experiences I've ever had in my whole life. This was about three, actually almost four years ago. I think time has flown since I graduated high school, but I was with one of my good friends at the time, her name was Olivia. We were just driving around one night because we were just literally driving because there was nothing to do in this town. Pretty boring, so we were just driving around one day trying to explore different places in the town that I've lived in my whole life. I tried to find places I'd never been to before. So we were on this road, it was just like let's drive down this road to see how far we can go. 
So we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, and all of a sudden it goes into a golf course. I've been here before, and it's really boring down there, so we have to turn around on this road. So we go down this road, and it's like a minimum maintenance road, sort of, and there's this shit at the end. So we're gonna check it out. So we turn down this road, it's like the building is right here, and the road is going this way, and she moves her hand in front of her. Finger in a straight line, and there's kind of like a parking lot, a gravel parking lot thing. We were like here, very close to the parking lot, going around, and all of a sudden there's a car parked right behind the building. So you couldn't see it from the road. So we were like, oh there's a car we're not going to stop here that's kind of sketchy. Why is there a car just sitting there and we were both so freaked out? You guys are going to think that I'm crazy honestly, but I know what I saw and throughout all these years, I haven't been able to come up with anything in my head that this could have been besides aliens honestly, and she saw the exact same thing. So as we were in this process of turning around, I was trying to see if anybody was in the car, and I look over and I just saw three complete white beings, no face, no hair. It was like one of those morph body suits. You know people put on, but they look like kind of plastic. The best way that I can describe it seriously, they were like forever 21 mannequins that had no faces or hair on them at all. A white figure in the driver's seat. A white figure in the passenger seat and a white figure in the back seat that is kind of like leaning forward. I just stopped the car and I would look at them to try to see if they were going to change into real people because they definitely weren't real people and they never did. All of a sudden they just flipped their lights and they booked it. They were gone. They take off in their car so fast down that minimum maintenance road. I don't know who or what they were. The best way that I can describe them are as aliens. They were probably aliens and my friend agrees they were freaking aliens. So I instinctively decided to chase them because I was so intrigued. I'm such an adrenaline junkie. I will do anything, it's just who I am. It got the better of me. So I just booked it I went down that minimum maintenance road. I was flying right behind them. They didn't even have license plates which was just really creepy too. They had one of those license plates that had a car dealership name on it still, so I guess it was a new car. I was following so close behind them. They were going so fast, they were in a 25, but they were probably doing 65 and I was trying to keep up with them, but I was also trying to be a cautious driver at the same time because I was scared. I didn't want to crash my car. I was so close behind them and all of a sudden they ran a stop sign so I slowed down looked both ways. No I didn't stop all the way, but I made sure nobody was coming. She said nobody was coming so I just floored it again and I caught up with them. They were going down taking random turns trying to lose us. They were going down such winding roads. I think I lost them two or three times, but I always ended up finding them, but all of a sudden they seriously ran a red light. Just straight up ran a red light, straight red. They probably flew through it at 75 miles an hour. Straight red. It wasn't turning red, it was already red. They were going so fast there is no way for them to tell if a car was coming in any direction. That's when we lost them. I stopped and my heart was still pounding and my friend was like what just happened. Still to this day, I have no idea who or what they were. I honestly got to think they were aliens. They had no faces, no hair, no clothes. I need your help. This encounter scared me deeply and every time it creeps me out to think about it because it's always in the back of my mind. I get a feeling of pure evil when I think about it. My husband and I have had real ghostly encounters for a long time, in fact as long as we've been together. I have seen and experienced paranormal since I was a child. Most of the time it's pretty harmless. A slight touch on the shoulder, a footstep in the hallway, a presence, and somebody out of the corner of the eye. There was only a handful of times that I ran across something that was really dangerous. A few weeks ago, 
In the evening, while the children five and three years old were sleeping and my husband and I were talking, he then walks into his office. This is the really messed up part, for that few seconds it wasn't him, it was somebody else looking at me. While he walked it was somebody wearing a dark suit black, maybe with a hat and a face that could be described as faceless and blurry. Like a TV out of sync. I don't know what happened, that was one of the most terrifying experiences that ever happened to me. I called him a few minutes after I saw it, even though I was still kind of scared and I sounded so crazy when I put the words to my mouth. But surprisingly he understood and was unnerved by it, but what was that thing that I saw? Was it a shadow person? A doppelganger? A demon? What was it? During a trip in Dallas, Texas, my friend and I decided to go night swimming at the Airbnb we were staying at in Uptown. It was a Sunday night, so there was nobody at the pool in the apartment complex we were at. We were assuming that most people in the complex were getting ready for work the next morning, so it was exciting to have the time to swim with a group of friends outside with nothing to do the next day, and as luck would have it, it was completely empty. The pool wasn't very large, so with the surroundings very pleasant as everything else close by was. Even in the dark my friends and I could see the surrounding area pretty well and were pretty comfortable with the entire situation because of the view from our pool. We decided to take some pictures of Dallas skyline to send to our parents. I'd taken three consecutive photos all within the same minute at 9.21 p.m. In the first two there is nothing out of the ordinary. In the final, however, a human figure, some kind of a person I guess is seen at an awkward angle toward the middle of the photo. We didn't notice a figure behind us while it apparently had showed up. The only thing that made us go back and check the photos was one of our parents told us not to talk with a man standing toward the back. We were very confused because we thought no one was there behind us, but apparently there was and that's when we noticed the figure. I understand that it looks plain as day as a human, but I can't help but think how awkward it all looks. The wall with the bushes isn't very tall, and there doesn't seem to be much space between the bushes and that wall. So, it's hard to imagine that somebody would be hiding there for what reason, also the body is positioned very awkwardly. If you see in the photo, it seems very disproportionate to its surroundings and very short. I also notice a lack of a lower body either way, it's creepy as heck and it gives me the chills. When I look at it I don't know what this thing is and I have no way to explain it. The two instances I'm about to mention happened several years ago and are five years apart when they happened. I'd like to know what these mean whether it's good or bad or any advice you guys might have or if you want to just let me know what you think about them. My first encounter happened when I was a sophomore in high school. I went to one of my classmates houses and she happened to be my crush at the time too. I did this to finish an English project that I had. We had to act and film ourselves and create a video presentation. Her house is located in the forested part of town where there is no traffic except for residents who happen to make a wrong turn and need to turn around. I didn't notice anything creepy as we started in the afternoon, but because of all of our bad acting and video editing, I stayed there until around past midnight. My buddy and I, John Ray or JR for short, decided to walk together until we were at a public transportation area that was easily available. We've been walking for about a block when something stopped me dead in my tracks a man in a security guard uniform was holding a weapon and stood right outside one of the houses looking at the house. It was either abandoned or under construction. Just a small residential house. I thought it was strange that a guard would be there so JR and I were a little bit uncomfortable because the man just stood there still with his weapon. I then noticed that his face showed nothing but blackness. No facial features, just a shadow if that makes any sense at all. As we stood there just a few meters away my heart started to beat really fast and I gestured to my friend that we should just get the heck out of there. So, we walked away and then bolted off after a considerable amount of distance from the man. That was encounter number one. My second encounter happened after attending an evening Bible study at a friend's house. 
one of my friends Leanne asked me to give her a ride home. She lived in a subdivision of apartment homes. When we got there I dropped her off and waved at her goodbye as courtesy. I usually wait a few minutes until I drop a person off and I wait till they get inside of their home safely. So, I decided to be on my phone to pass time. I looked up and out of my car window when I saw somebody who at first I thought was Leanne. She had the same ponytail style hair and t-shirt except something was off about her. Her body was facing sideways where she was walking but her face was turned completely towards me and the face had nothing but would look like grey clay that was smudged. There were no facial features at all. My stomach sank but I was more curious and freaked out so I continued to watch it until it disappeared behind a row of cars on the parking lot. I was thinking maybe that it could have been somebody headed to their car, but no car pulled out of the parking lot for another 5 minutes after witnessing this. I got a text from her thanking me and letting me know that she got home safely. The parking lot and her house were in completely different directions. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? I was on my way walking to the Dollar General store early one night and I got ready to cross the street where I was going. There was a black car with a person parked on the side of the Dollar General. The car had its lights on inside. The person had on black hair and had on shades so I couldn't see if that person actually had any eyes but the person was really white and milky, like really white. But anyways the person was just looking straight ahead and wasn't looking around. The person was wiggling and moving around a bit so I know that it wasn't fake. I saw no mouth, no nose, no facial hair just smooth white. I couldn't tell if it had ears or not because of the long black hair and shades but it was just parked and sitting there in the car with the lights on inside like it wanted to be seen or for somebody to see it for some reason. It's weird how it happened at night when not many people are out as if it was planned that way. I personally was scared and creeped out when I came walking out to Dollar General. I went home by walking all the way around the block to not pass that person or thing or whatever it was. I'm the same person but it's more like a being, it was scary and creepy. At first when I came out of the Dollar General I thought that I was seeing things but I know that I'm not the only person who's seen something like this before. I never told a soul because I thought they would think that I was crazy. I've seen something spooky once at work. I was working at a manhole on a platform of dark rail in Dallas and it was around midnight and one of the trains stopped at the platform to let off some passengers. Anyways, as I was looking around, I saw into the window and I saw a person or something sitting in a chair facing where I would be able to see their face. Except that face or lack thereof was just pitch black. The cars were very well lit and I could see people's faces lit up just fine but the one that I just described was like looking into a black hole. Like nothing to make it clearer there was a hood pulled over the top of the head. It was a cold night that night so it was like a pitch black face surrounded by a hood. I didn't know what I have seen. Models popping bottles! Hey!